All right, hey, doing a quick video, really excited here. I just got the call from the trucking company. They're bringing my new ARS rack. And as you guys can see, I have a lot of them already. This is only one side of the room. But I have a whole bunch of um, snakes in a yearling rack who need to move up. They need to get, keep growing fast. So we have a new rack coming and we're gonna go unload it right now. And we're actually gonna do a whole video Chase and I plan this all out. We're gonna do a whole video about how to set it up and show you a few cool, awesome snakes that are uh, moving into it. So it's the next morning now. That snake rat came in late last night um, as it was uh, a little later in the day. So we just moved into the room and we're gonna go ahead and wire it up now. Fill all the tubs full of mulch, get it all set up. So uh, we're gonna just let you walk, kind of walk through the process and uh, tell me what you guys think. So each of these ARS racks come with this huge power strip, which uh, we're going to connect to the side here via zip ties. It's a good way to connect it. And we're going to plug each one of these power cable into the one. The nice thing is then you can run the thermostat, can control this entire strip, which will in turn control every power strip, um, every heat tape on the entire rack. So we're going to go ahead and uh, hook that up now. All right, we have us all wired up now, and I just want to show you how we did it. We did zip tie the the um, power strip here. It actually has 12 outlets on it, which is perfect because we have 12 levels. But each level is tied in, and we also zip tied. I can't take credit for this. Chase did a great job of zip tying each one of these so that they don't get hung up on something. It's removing the rack around. It's nice and neat. Keep it as neat as possible. Um, the whole, so this entire power strip, it's got a little switch right here, is plugged into my thermostat at the top, which on this one, I just have a Herpstat um, 1. It's, it's perfectly fine. I usually use the VE um, Vivarium um, thermostats, but like you see up here on top of these, but I actually need to order another one. So we're using this one today. It works great. Um, we have the power strip going in here. This is the power for the the um, thermostat itself and then this is the um, the probe temperature probe which is going to measure the temperature so i run the temperature probe down here see it here following it down um, and i put it about halfway so i'm trying to kind of get that medium middle of the road temperature in the rack and i run some big fans here in my snake room to kind of just to mix the air up so there's not a really big temperature gradient from bottom to top but I go ahead and put it in here in the middle. I just secure it to the 
actual um, flex watt metal strip here um, so that it can measure, measure the temp. One of the most important things you can do when you're wiring any rack with a the thermostat is make sure this is secure because if this pulls out then the thermostat cannot cannot sample the actual temperature and all it'll do is ramp up to full blast and uh, you know potentially harm your animals um, just depending on the situation you could definitely um, um, either burn your snakes or just make them so uncomfortable that uh, that it's no good for anyone um, so yeah there's that's that and we are all set now to actually put some animals in the rack so we're gonna uh, get on that now Okay guys, we have the rack in place, plugged in, the thermostat's uh, warming the whole thing up. I never say anything about the missing tub, but I think um, we actually got, dam got damaged in the shipping, so we're going to be getting a replacement for that. Um, ARS is great about sending replacements, so we're not even concerned about it. So we're going to show you, we just started loading it up with some snakes. We have um, just a few rows there, but I want to show you a few of the snakes that made the jump and just kind of getting started we'll keep filling it up throughout the day here but uh oh perfectly showing herself off there this is the uh, coral glow batman so coral glow leopard spot nose clown she's looking good she's pretty big let's see who's next nope this is a really nice inchy clown golden girl it's, they're all exploring because we put them in just a few minutes ago. This is a really awesome mahogany pied, and uh, I love the pattern, nice and distributed on this. And best part about this snake is also het lavender, so we can get our first uh, mahogany dream sickles and suma dream sickles down the road. Well, and there's a dream sickle right there. A girl growing up got about a thousand grams almost on her already. This is a yellow belly dream sickle. This boy's making the making the jump. Let's see. Oh, Mr. Emoji Ball himself. Still got the smile, he's looking great. A pastel highway pied. Pastel, inchy, leopard spot nose. Great looking power packed animal. Love, it, love anything leopard spot nose. Ooh, this guy looks awesome. This is a uh, leopard jungle woma clown. Uh, now, you, probably most of you never even heard of the jungle woma. It's a great little gene. Fantastic in the clown. I just made the first of those this year. Let's see if there's another one of those. Jungle woma clown. Here you go. Pastel. Jungle Woman Clown. Look at that. It looks like a extremely bright. It looks about as good as a pastel inchy clown, honestly. And not actually all that different pattern wise. Excellent color. Pastel inchy lesser spot nose. Got some. Uh, Super OD combos too. It's a uh, Super OD inchy. Looking good. We got the Fire Batman. This girl, just amazing with some size on her. Love that. Love. Just can't wait for her to put on some more size with this tra transition. And we got the Firefly Batman. I don't think very many people have seen this one. I'm not sure I've actually even shown it. Now see this tub right here, I'm glad we uh, found one of these. This is the, the divided tub that they offer with the 50-40 racks. And uh, that's actually molded right in, that divider. And it's just got the cutout. So when this is 
closed, you see it, um, they can only use the cutout to move back between a natural kind of hide um, and the front. And a lot of people ask me if I like those or recommend them. I do like them. So they, the snakes really like them. I would say that most snakes do will do best for me eating wise and just doing well with the hide. Now the downside is they're a lot harder to clean. Just a lot of extra little angles to get it cleaned out when you when you clean them. And the other part is that when you're breeding small females, you know, 1500 gram females, they actually breed really well in this size tub. But with that divider, it really gets the whole thing way too cramped. And um, so I would say is if you get, if you're planning on doing breeding in these tubs at all, get some that are undivided for those bigger girls because it doesn't work that well. Um, but it's perfect for the smaller girls when you're growing them up. They love the hide, they love eating in it. Here's the desert ghost, the lemon blast desert ghost. Radiant, looking great. Hope that's not a, hope that's not a morph yet, the radiant morph. Anyhow, I see a lot of cool stuff. This is a Dinker project of mine. That might look familiar to some people, but some similar to some, some morphs out there. Pretty, pretty wicked, but it's a Dinker morph, and I'm working on finding out exactly what, what that is. All right, well, that's just a, a quick rundown. That's almost all the snakes that we moved over, and we still have all these to fill, so we've got some work ahead of us. All right, hope you guys enjoyed all that. It's not my typical video at all. I know it's more free-flowing. We kind of just show what we were doing, how we set up one of these racks. But I hope it was also educational. And if you were ever considering um, this type of rack, I love ARS um, snake racks. They're fantastic. I actually I love Freedom Reader rodent racks, and I love ARS snake racks. That's my, that's my endorsement right now. Um, they're both always changing and making them better, and, and uh, that's, that's, that's awesome. So we love them. We love them both. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're considering one of these racks, definitely do it. They're, they're fantastic. Um, the snakes love them. And I uh, hope you guys got to see a little bit about how we set them up and uh, how we just kind of operate here at JKR. Thanks a lot for watching. <laughs>